Chapter 8, Non-Electrolyte Solutions, Section 8.7, Thermodynamics of Real Solutions. In a real solution of two components, A and B, the AA interaction is different from the BB interaction. They are also different from the AB interaction. Therefore, by mixing A and B, we change the internal energy of both A and B. If A and B are miscible and form a real solution at a specific temperature and pressure, for example, water and ethanol at room temperature in one bar, we have this inequality. Delta G mixing of water and ethanol is less than zero. That means this mixing is spontaneous on a constant TP condition. And because G is equal to H minus Ts, at this temperature, delta H mixing is less than T delta S mixing. What if A and B are immiscible? For example, water and oil. They do not mix at room temperature and one bar condition. In that case, we can tell delta G mixing is greater than zero. Therefore, the mixing of water and oil is not spontaneous. The separation between water and oil at room temperature and one bar condition is spontaneous. And again, because G is H minus Ts, when delta G is greater than zero, delta H is greater than T delta S at that temperature. For real solutions, we have delta U mixing is different from zero. Again, it's just because the AB interaction, A interaction, and BB interaction are all different from each other. Therefore, upon mixing, the internal energy uh, of the system will change. And very likely, delta H mixing is non-zero. Delta V mixing is also non-zero. Even if pressure is held constant, PV can change because even if P is held constant, V can change. Delta V mixing is often non-zero. Even if delta V mixing is zero for a real solution, that's usually by coincidence. And typically, delta PV mixing is non-zero, and therefore, delta H mixing is slightly different from delta U mixing. Delta G mixing is slightly different from delta A mixing. Now let's look at the definition of the partial molar volume of a species. So we have a bar on top of this V sub i. i is uh, species i, v is volume, but when you see a bar on top, it's the partial molar volume of this species i. It's defined to be delta v over delta n sub i under a constant temperature pressure condition. And also, we need to hold the amounts of all other components constant. And now we have a equation for the exact differential of volume. dV is something times dt plus something times dp and then plus something times dni. Over here, this is how V depends on temperature, delta V over delta T. And now over here, we need to hold all other variables constant. Among these other uh, variables, we have pressure has to be held constant, and then the amount of all species. Over here, this is how volume depends on pressure when temperature and the amount of all species are held constant. Finally, the volume also depend on the amount of the species. So over here, we have sum of, this is the partial molar volume of species I multiplied by D and I. And again, when you look at the expression of this partial molar volume, uh, we need to hold temperature, pressure, and all other uh, n sub j constant. Again, when you do partial derivative in physical chemistry, usually we look for independent variables. And we have this function uh, uh, relative to the change of only one independent variable when all other independent variables are held constant. 
Again, at uh, specific temperature and pressure, we have dT equals zero, dP equals zero. Then dV is simply the sum of the partial molar volume uh, of species I times d and I. And also, we can get this equation. Volume is the sum of Ni times Vi bar. Uh, this is because um, we can actually uh, hold temperature and pressure uh, constant. And we then gradually add the amounts of all species proportionally. So we can get to this expression. Uh, we can look at this. V is the integral of dV. So if you look at this integral, the lower limit is actually zero. The upper limit is the actually the final volume of the system. And over here, we just plug in this equation over here, and then we can switch the sum sign and the integral sign. So mathematically, it's uh, correct. And now we just need to integrate this term. When we integrate this, we can assume the partial molar volume of species I is constant, as long as we satisfy these three conditions. Number one, temperature is constant. Number two, pressure is constant. Number three, when we add the amount of the species in the system, we need to add them proportionally. So we want to make sure the mole fraction of uh, every species remains unchanged when we keep adding those substances. And then uh, this uh, Vi bar is a constant. And we can take it out of the integral and then we get this expression because the integral of d and i is simply an i. Again, over here, this uh, integral has a low mi lo lower limit of zero and the upper limit is the final number of moles of species i in the system. So we have this uh, equation. The total volume is the sum of n sub i times the partial molar volume of species i. Again, tp should be held constant, and also the mole fractions of all species should be held constant. And now we have dV is equal to uh, this sum plus this sum. Uh, this is due to the product rule in calculus. The exact differential of this product is Ni times dVi plus Vi times dNi. Again, this Vi has a bar on top. This Vi has a bar on top that indicates we're talking about the partial molar volume of the species. Now let's compare uh, this equation and this equation. When we compare these two equations at specific temperature and pressure, we have this equation. This part has to be zero. The sum of Ni dVi has to be zero. Now if we have only a binary solution, then Ni dV1 plus N2 dV2 should be zero. Again, there's a bar on top of V uh, that indicates molar, a uh, partial molar volume of species 1 and 2. And then we have this equation. This equation and this equation are really, really similar to the uh, corresponding equations for chemical potential. When we uh, talk about the chemical potential of two components uh, in a uh, binary solution, we have N1 d mu 1 plus N2 d mu 2 equals 0. But now we're just replacing mu uh, with uh, partial molar volume. And again, uh, there's a similarity here. Uh, mu is actually the partial molar uh, volume, uh, partial molar Gibbs energy of species I. And this is partial molar volume of species I. Uh, we can also look at the partial molar entropy of species I. It's defined this way. Again, okay, with the bar on top, uh, this is the partial molar entropy of species I. It's delta S over delta N sub I uh, when temperature, pressure, and the amounts of all other components are being held uh, constant. So dS is something times dT plus something times dP plus something times dN. And over here, it's delta S over delta T with all other independent variables held constant. Over here, it's just delta S over delta P. Again, all other independent uh, variables should be held constant. 
And the same here, we have the sum of SI DNI, and this is actually the partial molar entropy of species I, uh, indicated by this bar on top, that means partial. And uh, when we uh, look at this equation, we again realize uh, in this partial molar entropy of species I, temperature, pressure, and the amounts of all other components should be held constant. There's only one variable here. All right. At specific temperature and pressure, uh, we have this equation because dt is zero, dp is zero, so ds is equal to the sum of molar partial molar entropy uh, of I times d and I. Uh, so this sum go here, dt and dp are both zero. Now we can actually get another expression for the total entropy of the system. It's the integral of ds. And then we can uh, write ds in terms of this. Uh, again, uh, we can switch the integral sign and the sum sign. Mathematically, it's OK to switch this two operators. One is the sum, one is the integral. So we just switched this two mathematical operators. And now we need to integrate the partial molar entropy of I d and I. And this can be held constant as long as we satisfy three conditions. So we're going to just uh, uh, add uh, all components into the system gradually under three conditions. One, the temperature has to be held constant. Two, the pressure has to be held constant. Number three, when we keep adding uh, those components in the system from zero to the final amount, we need to add them proportionally. That means we need to make sure the mole fractions of all species never change when we keep adding the components in the system. And then this partial molar entropy is a constant. We can take it out of the integral. Now the integral of d and i is simply n i, and we have this equation for the total entropy of the system. It's just uh, the sum of n i multiplied by the partial molar entropy of species I. Again, we have three conditions, temperature, pressure are constant, and when we add all those components in the system, make sure that uh, the mole fractions of all species are held constant. And then we have uh, the exact differential of entropy, ds is equal to the exact differential of this sum. Using the product rule in calculus, we get sum ni dsi plus the sum of si d ni. Again, there's a bar on top of entropy, which indicates uh, this is the partial molar entropy, and we need to hold some other variables constant. Now let's compare this equation and this equation. Uh, both are correct, and uh, this equation we have only like the sum of si d and i here, and in this equation we have not only the sum of si d and i, we also have the sum of n i d s i. Therefore, this term has to be zero. The sum of n i d s i must be zero. And for any binary solution at specific temperature and pressure, we have this equation. Uh, this equation, again, looks really similar to the Gibbs-Duham equation, which is n1 d mu1 plus n2 d mu2 equals zero. It's also similar to the equation for the partial molar volume, which is n1 d v1 plus n2 d v2 equals zero. Uh, and again, these two equations are simply equivalent to each other. I want to show you the molar volume equation uh, in the previous slide. It's this and this. And over here, we simply replaced uh, volume uh, V with entropy S. And again, we have a bar on top of S that indicates we're talking about the partial molar entropy of species I, in this case, 1, 2 here. Uh, again, for any binary solution at a specified temperature and a specified pressure, we have Ni dSi plus N2 dS2 equals zero. N1 dV1 plus N2 dV2 equals zero. Uh, S sub I with a bar on top is the partial molar entropy of species I. V sub I with a bar on top is the partial molar volume of species I. 
at the specified temperature and uh, pressure we have uh, this two equations it's just this equation multiplied by temperature and this equation multiplied by pressure now we will take the difference between these two equations and then we have uh, ni uh, n1 t ds1 uh, minus uh, n1 pd1 plus n2 t ds2 over here minus n2 pd2 over here equals zero and now you can see something really familiar uh, tds minus pdv actually that's internal energy but if you have a bar on top of s and v well this is a uh, molar partial molar internal energy all right partial molar internal energy and same here over here you have n2 as a common factor and then we are looking at tds minus pdv isn't that just du uh, but we have a bar on top of S, a bar on top of V, so we need to draw a bar on top of U. This U is also the partial internal energy. So we have this equation for partial internal energy. N1 du1 plus N2 du2 equals zero. So what's the definition of this uh, partial internal energy of species I? Well, the official definition is this. The partial internal energy of species I is equal to delta U over delta N sub I. While we hold all other independent variables constant, including temperature, pressure, and the amounts of all other components. Now, in summary, uh, if the partial molar volume of species I increases, well, the partial molar volume of uh, component 2 has to decrease. So you can see this in this equation 1 if this is positive this has to be negative. If this is negative this has to be positive. And we can say the same thing for the molar uh, partial molar entropy and partial uh, internal energy as well.